hi guys welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new i'm glad to have you here today in a previous video i did a haul at michael's and one of the items i bought or several of the items i bought are these items right here and these are by recollections and they are large photo and craft keepers they measure 14.9 inches by 12 inches by 5 inches and they hold 4 inch by 6 inch photos. It includes 16 of the photo cases. So when you look at them, you see all these colorful boxes. Those are the photo cases. And so I got one of the rainbow ones like this. And I also got two of the clear ones. So I was pretty happy about that because the regular price is $41.99, but they were having them on sale for $14.99. And I had thought about buying it at that price, but I heard other people saying they got it cheaper. And then I realized that we were able to use our 25% off coupon from Joann's, and so I got them for $11.24. Now, if you didn't know this, Joann's will accept coupons from Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Michael's will accept coupons from Joann's and Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby is the only one who will not take other stores coupons. So that is amazing that we can use coupons at different places. Well, at least we can use them at Michael's and Joann's. So I went ahead and took advantage and I was so happy in fact, it was pretty easy. I was afraid they were going to say no, but the manager rung me up and she didn't even think about it. She was like, oh, yes, we take that. You know, it was just that easy. So, so happy. So in today's video, I know you're probably wondering what a lot of people use these for. So I'm going to go ahead and show you several ways that I plan to use this. Now, a lot of people naturally use this for photos, people use them for crafts, people use them to store puzzles. There's so many ways, but let's go ahead and begin so I can show you how I plan to use them. Before we begin, I opened up the actual storage box so that you can see what the photo cases look like in their little compartments. So basically, you have purple, blue, teal, green, yellow, orange, dark pink, and light pink. So you have a total of two of each of the colors for a total of 16 cases. I went ahead and removed three of the storage boxes so that you could see that there are dividers in here for each of the photo cases. In this way, if you wanted everything to stay in particular order, then you don't have to worry about any of the photo cases moving or going to a different spot because even if you know this were to shake like this it would still stay where it needed to go and you'd still have the correct photo case in the correct slot here's a look at one of the photo cases and you can see that it does have the snap lock right here in the front and if you look at it really good you'll notice that these photo cases are not perfectly square. It indents on every side, on the front, on the back, and on each side. So you can see that there's room, but it does indent, so you don't get a perfect rectangle. Here is what it looks like when it's opened up. So it opens up all the way back like that, and there you go. And you can really see now that it is not a perfect rectangle inside. One way to use these photo cases is to store alphabets in here. Then if you had a whole set of these, you can easily pass them out to your students and each one will have their own individual set of letters. As a parent, you can do the same thing as well, but just put a lot of different activities in each case. Now, can you imagine if you had that? You wouldn't even have to worry about separating them. You'd have them all set up, ready to go, and it'd be so easy for your students to put them back. 
to make things a little more fun and to make things more direct in instruction, you can go ahead and add words that you want your students or your children to learn how to spell. The more they see it and the more they practice, the better they'll get at it and the better they'll learn. Another way to use these photo cases is to store sight words. Now I teach first grade, so I have a certain amount of words I want them to learn. And so I usually have a stack of sight word cards that we practice with. And one way you could do this is to store maybe just the first 10 sight words in here. And then perhaps once they get the first 10, they can move on to the next 10, which is in a different box and so on. Kind of make it a game, see how much they can move up. And trust me, my students love it when I turn it into a game because they get competitive and they want to beat the game. So that would be fun to do with students or even your own children. Now I'm a teacher and I use a lot of task cards in my classroom with my students. And trust me, these are task cards, but they're messy, so I have them flipped over. But I found that these photo cases are a great way to store them. It keeps them all in one place and it keeps everything separated the way I need to. So that when I need to do certain things, I can just pull them out. I do have separate ones for math, separate ones for reading, and it works awesomely. So these are great if you have task cards. Another great use for these photo cases is to hold centimeter cubes. How awesome is that? Not only are they cute in here, but they hold them perfectly. And if you're wondering, this is 100 of the centimeter cubes. And this is perfect to pass out to your students when you're working on math, because then you don't have to count them out, you don't have to separate them, and you'll know that there are 100 in every case. Of course, you can use less. You don't have to go with 100, but I just leave it at that. Another great idea for this photo case is to store mini erasers in them. I have a pack of 60 mini taco erasers that I got from Target's Dollar Spot, and it was only a dollar for the 60. I placed them in here, and as you can see, there is so much room. Of course, all the mini erasers are different. Some are bigger than others, so that is something to consider. But I can tell you, even if they were twice as big, they would definitely fit in here. I decided to take my globe erasers and I put two packs of them in this container. Now it's two packs and they come from Target's Dollar Spot again, 60 mini erasers for a dollar. So there's a total of 120 mini globe erasers in here and you can see it fits nicely oh that looks really cute i place them side by side so that you can see that the globe erasers are definitely more than twice as big as the taco erasers but you get the idea and wow these look so cute in these rainbow ones i mean i know i like the clear ones as well but looking at it like this it looks really cute now if you're just a eraser collector then this is great because you can just put whatever you want you know however you want it wouldn't matter but if you're a teacher then you can just count out how many erasers you want in each of these cases and that way when you need them for math then you can just pass out each case to each student or maybe to each pair of students, however you want to do it. And that way you can have them count it out, add them, subtract them, sort them, whatever you want. It'll be so much easier just to pass out a case than to have to count them out yourself one by one. Target used to sell these building blocks in their dollar spot section. I haven't seen it recently, but these come in 72 counts and they are Lego-like building blocks. So they're really fun for students to use or your own children as well. And you can use them for STEM activities or just have them play with it. Use their imagination to build. These are awesome. And it gets your students or your children to become a lot more creative and to think more. So these are always fun to have around and these fit so nicely inside of the photo cases. 
Here's a look at all 72 of the building blocks inside the photo case and it fits really nicely. So if you're a teacher and you had a set of these, it'll be so easy to just pass some of these to students that you're gonna allow to use. Or if you are a parent, then you can just have a whole bunch of different things in your cases and then you can just pull something out when they wanna play with it. This is perfect when you wanna travel because then everything is organized in its place and all contained. And in case you're wondering, it does close. It does fit perfect. You just have to make sure all the pieces are pulled apart and then they fit nicely. Another great way to use this photo case is to store numbers. Numbers are awesome to learn math. You can have your students or your children put them in numerical order, smallest to biggest, biggest to smallest. You can have them practice skip counting. You can even have them practice addition and subtraction. To make it a bit more fun and challenging, why not add some addition cards? And then the students or your children can go ahead and use the numbers and place them there and come up with the answer. Whoops, six is not right, guys. Three plus two is five. And you see why we gotta practice math? There you go. Now, do you ever have things you wanna color code? Well, recently at Target's Dollar Spot, I got this set of dice and they came in all different colors. And I thought to myself, it would be great to be able to separate the dice by table color. And I have basic colors like red, yellow, blue, green, orange, and purple. And so I found out that this photo case would be a great way to store my colored dice. So I have the orange in the orange case, the green in the green case, and so on. But how awesome is that? So if you wanted to color code things, this is perfect and you'd know exactly what color you need it just by the color of the case. Another way to use this photo case is to store task cards. And these are done with a material that allows you to use dry erase markers on it and then erase them. So this is a great way to keep your students occupied and a great way to do centers without having to go through tons of paper. If you happen to own a light box, then you're probably familiar with the inserts. I happen to own two different light boxes in two different sizes, a larger one and a mini one. And so I have a lot of these different inserts. And usually I just keep them in their boxes like this just because I don't have a place to store them. And so when I need to use them, I have to open up the box, go through all of them, put them back, and then use what I need. So it does get cumbersome and then I don't change out the messages very often. With a photo case, I can just put all of the different inserts into the box and then it'll be easy for me to sort through it, see what I need, and then just go ahead and close the photo case. So I think this is a great idea and a great way for you to store all of your inserts by using this photo case. If you love using markers, if you have children who love to draw, if you're a teacher, homeschooler, babysitter, then many of you are familiar with these Crayola markers. And a lot of times the boxes on these tend to wear out. So here are all 10 of the Broadline markers in the case. And let's go ahead and close it just to make sure it fits perfectly. And take a look, it closes and fits with room to spare. How awesome is that? If you love stickers and stamps and crafting in general, then the photo cases are a great way to store smaller items. Right here I have a set of stamps and some stickers that I can definitely put into my photo case. Normally, I would cut down my stickers to fit, but look, they happen to fit perfectly inside my photo case. And finally, if you're a teacher like me and you have a lot of bulletin board accents because you find them and they look so cute, or if you are a crafter and you collect a lot of cutouts just because you need them for different projects, then why not store them in a photo case? You can see it fits in here really nicely. And what's great about this is that now you don't have to worry about these accents being bent 
or them getting lost because you'll know they're all contained in one container and it'll be easy for you to see what you have and don't have. So I think this is a great idea. I almost forgot, but the reason I started buying these photo cases a long time ago, like years ago, was because I saw this, I think on Teachers Pay Teachers, I can't recall, but I probably bought it online there or it might have been free, but I was thinking this is awesome and you can use the photo case to create a close reading toolbox. You don't have to buy this set there, but I thought it was so super cute. And what's included is a highlighter, pencil, magnifying glass, and post-it notes. Now again, if you wanted to create this on your own, you can just put whatever you want in it. Just call it a close reading toolkit and maybe stick in those rings with the googly eyes, that's cute. Or maybe those fake colorful glasses that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Put your own post-its, pencils, I mean, just make it super fun for the students. So guys, here is everything that I've thought of to use these photo cases for, and there are so many other ways you can use it. Trust me, so many ways. I just didn't have time for all of them. I am probably going to use an entire storage box full of cases just for my mini erasers. I already know that because we use them in the class all the time for different math lessons and so that's gonna definitely be full of erasers and then another box could be full of different task cards i don't know there's so many things i could do that i want to do for my classroom for my students but i just don't have enough of these so i just have to think about it guys but yes this is everything that i've thought of and i feel like it's it's awesome. I mean, when you can get these on sale, you get a really good deal. And guys, let me tell you, they say regular price is $41.99, but they were on sale for $14.99. So that is a better deal because that means each of these little boxes were less than a dollar each because you get 16 of these boxes. So that's an even better deal than the Dollar Tree or Target's Dollar Spot. So if you can get it for $14.99, that's a great deal. And then if you can get it for cheaper, like with a coupon, then definitely go for it. I was able to get it with a coupon, so I went for it. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching my video and that it has helped you out in some way to figure out whether or not you want to buy these or not. And so I hope you like my video. I hope you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day guys.